why did you finish that book? You had no business continuing reading that book. What were you doing? Hi and welcome back to my channel, Sunshine Loretta. So today I'm going to be doing a book tag. It's been a little while. I mean, I did the mid-year freakout tag, but it's been a while since I've done like another tag, you know, and my hair is just all over the place. So this is the star ratings tag and this has been created by Jane the Bookaholic and she tagged me in to do this so I'm looking really forward to do it, doing it and yeah so it's basically about how you rate books, your star ratings, what's your system etc and I thought this sounds really fun because it's really interesting to see how she reads her books and uh, reads, rates her books um, and yes, I haven't actually, I don't think I've ever actually spoken how I, I rate them, I just give ratings and um, so I've never really fully explained how I do that so I think this is a great way to do that and yes, um, just before I get into it, I will leave her details below for the tag, tag the video etc so if you want to do it, consider yourself tagged I'd love to see your ratings and yes, if you enjoy this, hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe so, question number one. Based on what do you rate books? My feelings. Simple as that. It just it depends how I feel and what my experience was of that book. The feelings, the experience, was it enjoyable? Um, that's kind of the basic way to explain it. Yeah, it just depends on that feeling that I get from it. If it was a really enjoyable, did I absolutely hate it? Is it the best thing I've ever read in my whole entire life? Like, it doesn't have to be the best written book in the world. It's about how I feel and my enjoyment of that. So my my all-time favourites aren't exactly going to be necessarily be, like, classics that are, or, like, prize-winning fiction, you know? It all depends on my experience and my feelings of reading that book. Um, and, yeah, I'm sure as we go through those questions, you'll get a little bit more detail exactly how I do that. So number two, do you give half star ratings? Yes, yes I do. Um, it annoys me that Goodreads doesn't give you the option to give half stars, so then I either have to like round, I tend to round up more than down um, when I, I do it and I'll just say like, oh, 3.5. Um, but what I love, I do use Storygraph as well, and I love the fact that you can actually do quarter ratings on there, and I think, I don't give quarter ratings, um, because, yeah, I'm not someone, I know some people like have categories of like plot, setting, characters, etc. And that's how they end up with quarter ratings, but I don't do that. So I do halves. Um, and yeah, it's because sometimes, you know, you have what I feel is a three star. Um, and then what I feel is a four star, but it's, the book might be better than what I consider three star, but not quite there at the four star level you know, um, so that's when the, the half ratings come in handy. Um, I'm just trying to think what have I recently given um, a half, half rating to. Uh, Pride, Prejudice and Other Recipes, it's a romance novel, I gave a 3.5. I read um, Recipes for Persuasion and it's as well like months ago and that was a 3.5. They're both by Sonali Devi I want to say. Um, because I had fun reading it, it's, it was a fun romance novel but it wasn't, it didn't hit that four star mark for me. Like a four star romance, one that I recently um, read was You Had Me at Ola and it was just, I had more of an excitement, I was a little bit more invested in those characters. I enjoyed it just a little bit more that gave it that four star. Um, I don't exclusively read romance books so this is the first time you're clicking on my, my video, that was the best example. I read a variety of fiction. Um, yeah, that's the best example that I could give for that. Um, so next question, number three. How long does it take you to give a book a star rating once you've finished reading it? It really just depends. So if you have watched any of my reading vlogs, sometimes I give like a rough indication of what I think the rating is. Um, like recently I've been doing some Ween um, and like I gave an initial indication of like what I, I thought Home Before Dark was. Um, but I like to at least leave it like a day or so. Let the book kind of sit with me and see my final feelings. There are exceptions to that obviously. Um, a five star, I know it's gonna be a five star when I get to that last page. It's just like whoosh, below me out of the water, you know? Um, on the other hand, if I really have not enjoyed it, 
um, and somehow I'm not great at DNFing, I'm getting there, I'm getting a little bit better, I'm starting to learn when I should just DNF a book, um, but yeah, if I've just not enjoyed it, it's more likely going to be a two star and I'll, I'll know that more immediately. Um, but yeah, sometimes I just, I like to let it sit with me before I finalise it, because sometimes you're like, oh, is that a 3.5, is it a 4, and I have to kind of sit with me and let me, like, decide. You know, I need time to, like, think about it, and it depends how much I think about that book that roughly kind of gives me my end result. Um, so number four, do you ever feel bad for giving a low star rating? I don't give that many low star ratings. The lowest in general um, I would give is a three. Um, I have, last year I did give a few two stars that I did not enjoy. Um, <clears throat> like The Dilemma by B.A. Paris, which is, I don't know what's wrong with my voice, is not it? <clears throat> like The Dilemma by B.A. Paris. Um, that book just, it's supposed to be a thriller and it just wasn't thrilling. I gave it two stars, it just, it did not thrill me. But at the same time, I didn't give it a one star. Um, because I was still a little bit invested because I was like, I want to see where this goes, what the twist is. I'm like, I, there's no way that it's going to end like that. There's going to be something. There wasn't, like, there just, there wasn't. But I still had that little bit of investment. I don't think I've ever given a one star rating. Um, if, if I, yeah, I mean, a one star rating means I basically should have DNF that book. Like, why on earth did I get to the end of that book? I had no business continuing reading that book. If I'm going to give it a one star, you know? <clears throat> and, uh, sorry, my voice is a little bit funny. I need to get a drink of water. Yes, yeah, so, um, <clears throat> I feel my voice is a little better. I don't know what's going on with my voice. It's really, really weird. Um, so, long story short, I don't... I mean, I don't ever really give really low ratings because I should know before I get to the point of rating the book that it's not for me and I should DNF it and I don't rate books that I've DNF'd because I haven't read the whole thing so I can't really judge, I can't judge the whole book, you know. Um, but yeah, if I'm giving it a low rating, I'm giving it a low rating for a reason and I think, you know, you need to be honest. Um, I want to be honest on this channel if I, you know, enjoyed a book or if I didn't. Um, to give my honest opinion, but everyone has their own opinions. There's going to be people that love that book that I didn't. Um, so I don't necessarily feel, feel bad. Um, just, you know, but I try and give like, I try and give an honest review of why it didn't work for me because I know that whilst it might not work for me, it will work for someone else and someone else will get that enjoyment. Um, yeah, that's it basically. I kind of feel bad, but not really at the same time. Um, number five, do you sometimes change star ratings? If yes, do you usually change it to a higher or lower rating? Question five, do you sometimes change star ratings? If yes, do you usually change it to a higher or lower rating? Um, so I have done this. It's not something I do that often. It's very rare. Um, but when I have done it, it has been for a higher rating. I think if I don't like something, I am going to give it a low rating and I kind of stick with that. So the example I have is last summer, I read The Story of a New Name by Eleanor Ferrante, which is in the Neapolitan Quartlet um, series. I think you can see it um, by Eleanor Ferrante. I don't know if I said author's name there. Um, and yes, yeah, so I read this. I was on my holiday and I think I finished at the very end of August, did my wrap up. It was a very kind of rushed, like, I was like, yeah, 4.5, because I did really enjoy it, and I enjoyed it more than the first one, which I gave four stars. Um, but then, in the September, I started to watch the second series, because they are adapting it into a series which is really good. My brilliant friend, look it up, watch it, but read the books first. I still need to read the last one. But anyway, um, and then it just, it kind of just, I kept thinking about it, and I was just like, what's wrong with you? That was obviously a five star. Um, so I changed it and I absolutely love that. And so far, the first three, that's my favourite one so far. I still need to read that last one and see how it goes. But yes, I have done it before and it's been higher. Um, so yeah, I don't have no problems doing that. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things, you know, when it comes to the very end of the month, that last rating of that book always seems to be rushed and sometimes, you know, don't make the right decision. But yeah, it's not something I do very often. Um, number six, what makes a book five stars to you? 
has to be absolutely amazing, blows my mind. Like, it's just that feeling of, I want to reread this now. Like, I wish I could experience this for the very first time again. And I want to tell everyone I know about how great this book is and that they should all read it. But obviously I know that people, you know, write things differently. But it's a book I want to tell people to, you have to pick it up. Like, please, like, I hope you love it as much as I do. Yeah. Yeah, that's the feeling that I need to have. And like I said before, it doesn't have to be the best written book in the world. It doesn't have to win any sort of prizes or anything. It is that pure enjoyment. And it's just that feeling that I get. I just have that five star feeling and it's so hard to actually explain. Um, but yeah, it's just like, I can't stop thinking about it. Absolutely amazing. Like it's a new favorite, just like, wow. And like usually, I know before I get to the end, you know. By the time you hit that 80% mark, I should know if it's a five star or not because I just have that feeling. And you just want to get to the end, you know. And yeah, I want to experience it again for the first time, but obviously I can't, unfortunately. But yeah, that's how that's how I read it. Um, it just has to have that, that thing that makes all of that come together, you know. I can't put, pinpoint exactly what it is, but that's that feeling that I need to have for it to be a five star. And honestly, this year, I think is it four or five uh, five stars I've given out of like 39 books and it's just I don't know what it is I don't know what's wrong with me this year I just feel like I'm just not finding those five star reads I'm just not picking them up I don't know I'm gonna have to do a five star prediction soon and try and pull out the ones that I think are gonna be five stars because honestly there's been a drought of five stars and I just I mean in June I did The Hating Game I mentioned it again but like that was just just so good and I just you know I love that first star, five star feeling and I need to this I want as many of those as possible so yeah I'm gonna stop rambling on now next question what makes a book one star to you <clears throat> I have never given a book one star um, I think I already said this before because like I said I mean I had to empty my memory card so I wasn't I was in I lost my flow with this video but one star is why did you finish that book? You had no business continuing reading that book. What were you doing? Like you've just wasted so much time that could have been spent on a much better book. Like, what were you thinking? Why did you finish that book? What 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 is the actual reason you finished that book and it wasn't DNF'd? Because if you're rating one star, just yeah, you had you had no business finishing that book. So that that's that's what that feeling is. And I haven't given a one star because when something's been two stars. I was invested, there was some part of me that was invested in finding out how it was going to end. Um, whilst overall I didn't enjoy the whole experience of the book, there was something that was keeping me invested. Um, so that's probably why. I mean, one star, maybe if I'm doing some sort of challenge, I'm reading a book for a specific reason, that might be a reason why I give a one star. But I'm try I try to avoid that where I can because, you know, just, I don't have to, you know, I don't have all the time in the world. I can't read every single book there is and I don't want to waste it on books that are one stars. Simple as that. And that might sound harsh but you know I don't want to waste my time on them. Um, and the very last question, um, how does your star rating system work? Um, so like I've said as you can see it is a lot of feelings but I suppose it's also how much I like. I don't specifically, I know there's people out there that will be like the plot is a three out of five, but the characters are five out of five. The, it, you know what I mean? Like they, they have different sections and they, they do each section out of five. I don't do that, but in a way I kind of do in my head because, you know, I'm not gonna give a book five stars if I absolutely hated the characters because there's obviously something missing. Um, So it is a lot of based on the feeling. So like I said, one star is why on earth did you even finish this book? This should have been DNF'd. Two stars is, there was something that was keeping me invested, but there was a lot of la things lacking. Um, it didn't live up to expectations, you know, it didn't deliver on the promises of the, the premise. Um, it was categorized in a certain category, like, I'm gonna say it again, the dilemma, being categorized as a thriller, whereas I didn't find anything in that book thrilling. Like it didn't tick the, the usual thriller boxes for me. So yeah, that, that's the kind of thing where you get two stars. So I'm still invested, but it was severely lacking in so many areas in that book. Three stars is, 
a middle of the road. Now, I know technically 2.5 is like straight in the middle, but it's so hard for me to think that 2.5 is actually the middle. Like, I don't really give 2.5s. It's like usually like 2, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, you know? Um, but yeah, 3 is the middle of the road. It's a good book. I enjoyed it. It was good. I won't probably pick it up ever again. Um, it's not something I'm going to reread, but I, I did enjoy it. It was good. Um, four stars for me is, I would say, a great book. It was a more enjoyable experience than three stars. It was a great book. Um, yeah, it was great. It met, it met expectations in various different areas. So that means that 3.5 is in between good and great, if that makes sense. You know, it's been good and great. Like, it's much better than good, but it didn't quite hit that great mark for me. Um, and then, yes, 4.5 is obviously enjoyed it more than four star it was really good but there's just there was just that one one thing that was missing to make it five star and it's probably something that just made me go like wow you know it yeah i'd say 4.5 is really it's a great book missing the wow factor and then five is just has that wow factor you know everything was perfect even though it probably wasn't perfect but in my head everything was perfect i loved it you know i want to reread it etc etc I'm not going to go into the whole spiel again but yes it's the wow factor I suppose the five star and that is it that's all the questions all of them I've answered them and yes this was really fun um like I said at the beginning I tag all of you watching this I want to hear what your ratings are um and yes I like I said I'm going to link to Jane's video below on her channel go and check it out she does a lot of great content Thank you for creating this Jane and thank you for tagging me in it and yes I'm looking forward to seeing what other people's star ratings are and yeah so comment, like, subscribe and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!